This lovely tree here is a papaya tree and it's uh, about a year old and it is growing very well doing very good again non-gmo when it produces fruit and being a year old it hasn't produced fruit yet but at some point it will remember gardening takes patience and uh, if you grow a variety of items, you have time and you go away to something else and you look up and you have fruit. You go away to your fast growing items. Wheatgrass grows in seven days, very nutritional. And I'll put some videos up here on that and show uh, how fast it grows and how to juice uh, wheatgrass. But this is papaya and it's coming in very good. This plant here, this is the dragon fruit, and it is another uh, delicious tasting fruit. And this started from just one notch, and it has grown. I think I did a video on that where it was just a baby, and it has grown into this beauty here. And uh, I intend to let it grow up this whole pole here. And it produces a delicious fruit as well. And of course, right next to it, we have lots of uh, lemons, limes coming up. Lemons and limes here. And then we're going over here. We still have some lemons. And the oregano in amongst the aloe vera. Lots of aloe vera. That's something your grandmother uh, had a lot of and used it for some of everything. Burns. You can see this one here is producing some seeds. It's kind of leaning over a little bit. Let's see if we can straighten that up. But there we go. I'll put a pole on that. But that's uh, budding. That's your aloe vera. Now this beauty here, this is really magic. This is the leaf of life. And they gave this plant a good name because that's exactly what it is. It has a lot of nutrition in it. You can uh, chop it up, drink it in your water. And uh, uh, you see on the leaves, on every leaf, I won't be able to get much closer, but on the back of the leaves on this particular plant, I have another one over here. There are seeds on it. On the back of the leaf, there are seeds. And I know you heard the chickens in the background there. But on the back of the leaf there, there's a seed. And when that falls to the ground, that will produce another 20 plants based on how many seeds in there. I have some starter plants over there that is blooming and it is a fast grower and it multiplies itself very quickly and what I like to do is uh, I plan to go to the continent of Africa later on in uh, 2024 and if I can get some favorable terms I want to get some land to start farming and create some jobs for the people there and food. I'll bring in equipment. I just need some land to farm. And uh, I'm looking at South Africa. I'm also looking at uh, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Kenya, uh, Malawi. And I'm also uh, would like to go to the island of Mauritius. And I may even consider Ghana. But this plant here is amazing. And so I'll definitely do videos of that travel as I seek to find a place with favorable terms for uh, that kind of desire to grow food there on the continent. And even open up food processing facilities where we can process our own food. We shouldn't have to send things out of that country. It has everything. And so we don't need to send stuff to 
for example, chocolate has to go, you know, somewhere else to be processed. We can process that right there uh, on the continent. Absolutely. And so I'm going to look at those countries I'm going to visit, and I'll document my journey as I do that. So if you have any ideas or comments as to how uh, uh, to proceed that journey, I definitely like to get your uh, ideas on that but again this is the leaf of life and you can see I have um, several spots where this is growing let's get over here and you can see again in amongst that these are these two trees here these both are tangerines and we have limes on the property as well and you saw the pineapples we have over 50 pineapple plants but this leaf of life as you can see it's growing in different spots on the property and it is just a vigorous grower and here we have some uh, clones i believe in cloning and these are blueberry clones where i cut from my blueberry plants and we're going to clone those and uh, they should be ready uh, next year and uh, we're going around again and this plant here again has a wonderful name and they call it the miracle plant this is moringa m-o-r-i-n-g-a moringa and it is a wonderful food um, i make tea out of this that i retail and also i use it as toothpaste and deodorant we dry it out and add a little uh, baking soda to it and then it, it can be your toothpaste and you can rinse with uh, food grade peroxide and a little water and stop using that poison and giving it to your children uh, there we go and this is also good while you're fasting and I have several of those uh, trees on the property let's go over here we have another one here and so some of the leaves are turning yellow because it's that time of year and so we might be getting near this is a wonderful plant here this is moringa and it's good for fasting I do an 18 hour fast and six hours so every day from 12 to 6 I kind of eat a variety of foods and you give your body a break. You give your liver a break. You're giving your kidney a break. You're giving your stomach a break from processing all that food. You don't need to be snacking at night. It's just not healthy for you to do that at night. Okay, we have more moringa here. And it's just a wonderful plant to uh, have and like I say I juice it and we dry it out and you can make uh, juice tea and also make a powder for brushing your teeth deodorant and it's a wonderful food you know I went to a physician one time and I said well I do an intermittent fasting and she said well I'm not a big fan of intermittent fasting I knew right then I either needed uh, a different uh, physician or I need to um, have her to change her mind. So uh, she's still my physician, so I think she's changed her mind. Okay, here's a moringa tea that I manufacture and produce. And you see it comes uh, the tea bag, the satch. And so this bag is 15, bag is biodegradable, and I produce and sell these uh, uh, tea. And like I say, moringa tea is good, hot and cold. So we, this is the dried leaves. We dry the leaves out, and this is what it looks like when it's dried. And we take in, uh, you can, you would have to strain this. You can drink this as a tea as well. You just have to strain it. I mix this with the... Uh, the leaf of, of life and uh, add a little turmeric to it 
and it makes a great tonic uh, uh, to drink, uh, very light, and really gives you a lot of energy, and it's a, a, a beneficial health uh, treatment. Finally, I don't know if you can see how green that is, but I'm gonna pull some in my hand here. You see how, look how green that is. That's the powder that we grind up and you can make toothpaste out of it and you can put it in capsules and take uh, Moringa capsules. And again, when you're fasting, uh, the body has a way to cleanse itself and it will eat uh, cells that are, are dead and uh, after about uh, 12 hours of fasting and then when you get into the longer fasting, 18 hours, uh, your telomeres are, uh, are uh, not shortening as faster and your mitochondria will uh, be energized and when you eat, it'll replace those cells, those old dead cells that it had, it'll replace those.